Hello, welcome to this short video on Sysgo. Now I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but uh, it's a little tool, a fantastic little tool that I've just discovered uh, that will emulate Cisco or any sort of network devices. Um, the purpose of this is that you can spin up Cisco. Um, it's a server that spins up hundreds and hundreds of these servers. Uh, it's written in Go and they all sit on a different port. And the purpose is that you can use this to test your network automation. So if you need to have hundreds of devices available to you very easily, keep watching this video. So to install Cisco, uh, head over to github.com slash tbotnz slash Cisco. I will put the links for these in the description, so don't worry about that. And what you need to do is clone the repository onto your local machine. Now, I'm running this in a, an Ubuntu 20 machine, so this is a clean Ubuntu 20 install. I tried it on 18, and the version of Go that gets installed uh, was not uh, not good enough. So it's written in a very new version, so I've run it in the Ubuntu 20 now, and it, it works really well. So um, let's just clone that repository. So as this is a new install I don't have git so let's just sudo apt install git on here okay this shouldn't take very long oh we've got a cache lock uh, let me just pause the video a second Okay, it's on the move now. So once uh, we've got Git installed, we're just going to clone that repository down. And it's pretty much as simple as that. It's a very simple install. And then you will have at your fingertips a device, uh, a little server that is very lightweight, but is very powerful. And I'll show you why. Because you can literally have hundreds thousands of devices you're limited by your machine's performance really um, okay so we're here so let's just get clone um, this github.com I'll pop the description link uh, below uh, T bot So that pulls the files down. This is written in Go, as I've said. And we change into the folder. And then you run it just by typing go run sish.go. So go run sish.go. This won't run because you need to install Go as well. Now I found as well that if you install using apt uh, it doesn't like it so the version that I'm going to go with uh, is this one sudo snap install go and you need to say classic now I, I was at a message from Brett one of the contributors to this project um, and he did say that you need to be running a very new version of go uh, so 1.15 is a good version. So this is going to take a couple seconds to download. While that's going through, I will show you what I've got to do the testing with. So I've got a very simple Nornia script here. So this is going to back up uh, the network devices. And if you've not come across Nornia before, and you want to use Python for network automation, I suggest that you look excuse me, look into Nornia. Uh, it's a Python automation framework which gives you inventory and parallelization. I think I said that right. Uh, so you can run multiple tasks all at the same time. So instead of firing out with Python to one device back again, another device back again, Nornia lets you just fire out hundreds of connections at the same time which makes this lightning fast uh, so 
I'll step you through this very quickly, um, but if you're really interested in Nornia, I've got some other videos on my channel if you check out those. And I also have got an um, uh, introduction course into Nornia that I've written, um, and that's on my website. So there's a link in the description for that one as well. Uh, so this, um, you have to import a few Nornia specific uh, libraries here. We set the backup path to be backup. So this folder up here uh, has got nothing in it at the moment. And then this function creates the backup task. Um, it uses uh, napalm get uh, to pull the config. And then we write that file and the, the path will be the, it picks out this variable task.host, which will pick the host name. And we'll have a lot of config backups here with the host name as the file name. And then the, this is a, another beautiful thing with Nornia is the filtering. So I've got an inventory, which I'll go into a moment. Um, but within that inventory, I've got all my devices that I'm, I've got in my lab basically. Um, but I only want to back up for the moment the CSH Go devices, the Cisco devices. So if we go into my host file in here, it's just a, a YAML file. And I've got down here, these are my Cisco devices. So I've put CISSH Go 1. Um, the IP address is just the IP of the machine that I've got the server running on. And then the port uh, needs to be just increased every time. That's my dog. Okay, quiet. So, Cisco 1, um, hostname IP address is here. And then I just define the port. So, for each device, I have a different port number. So, this is what we can see if we go into this uh, when it starts. So, I'll show you how that works. So, I've now installed Go on here. And I'll say go run sish.go. Please work. There it goes. So this is now started the server, but as you can see on all these different ports. So it's the same device on all these different ports. So let's just try and log into one of them. So I've got security set up to connect to this device here. Now you can see I can log into it and I'll just show you down here. What I've done is just connected, but on the SSH I've connected to port 10,040. And then you log in and then you show IP interface brief and you get this output. You can say show run, you get an output. Now this isn't a configurable device that you can go in and change. This is just like a fake device that's pretending to be a Cisco router, but you can interact with it like you would normally do. So you can connect to it, log into it, run a couple of commands. Now there is a, an ability to change some of these things if you read into the documentation on the GitHub. So there's a few options that you can do. Uh, you can sort of change the vendor, change the platform, change the host name. But for the purpose of this, um, we're just gonna leave everything alone. So you can see from before, I've got all these little mini servers spinning on different ports. So in my inventory file, these are the routers I've defined, but each one has got a different port number. So I've got 10 routers here configured in the host file and each on a different port. And then into my backup file, I just say I want to back up the devices and using the filter within Nornia, and I, so the group that it's in must contain CSA, CSA, CSSH Go. So within the host file, my group I've defined there. So what should happen now is if I run this backup script, it's gonna to connect to 10 devices and pull the config, and then it's gonna put the config into this backups folder up here. So I'm just going to run backup.py. And first of all, you can see the speed that that goes. So that's partly Nornia, partly the fact we're hitting this um, Cisco server. But if they were real devices, it would be just about as quick as that. So I've just backed up 10 devices in probably under a second. 
and over on the backups folder you can see that I've got all the backup files now these are all the same because it's a, a fake device that I'm connecting to but you get the idea uh, I could very easily uh, go into my inventory uh, let's do that let's go into hosts and I'll add a couple more devices in so let's say we'll add in three more devices now out the box I've got the ability to run 50 I can change that to be hundreds and hundreds uh, or thousands so I've got router 11 that's going to go on to port 10,010 router 12 10,011 and router 13 on port 10,012 so that's just added three more devices in there and I'll run the script once more another thing you'll see with Nornia is that okay I'll show you what happened there so this has now backed up all the files oh no there we go so the ones that I thought I hadn't added them to the group um, so what's happened here is the new devices that I put in 11 12 and 13 the write file has changed and that is now mean that a new file was written whereas all the other devices write file change was false because I've already backed up that device so we've now got 13 devices in here and I'll run it once more and now we can see that we've got it all green so nothing's changed here since I ran that file so that I think I pronounced it right is Cisco it's a fantastic little tool I think you should try it out if you want to check your network automation give you a brilliant device just to run some tests on uh, so my name is Roger Perkin I hope you've enjoyed that video um, if you like this kind of thing please do hit that subscribe button I'd love to see you again um, I make videos once or twice a week on network automation on Python on Ansible and on Nornia so if this is the kind of thing you like please please hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and as well if you want to look into my courses uh, please check the link in the description uh, that will take you to my website and you can learn all about more about me and the courses that I do and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks for watching goodbye